Acting Ghouls, Warlock Boo here, and today I got another webcomic to review for y'all. Today, I'm reviewing the webcomic Orc and Gnome, Mild's Adventure. Now, what is Orc and Gnome about? Orc and Gnome is a webcomic about Orc and Gnome. Their names are kind of bland, but it makes sense in the story when I really get into it. It's about Orc and Gnome doing small menial tasks, like delivering a package or getting a small item out of an ancient tomb. Just little, somewhat normal, but still fanciful things. So it's a mild adventure. Not anything like kill the evil warlord, do that. No, it's just something fairly calm and simple. Not going to have too much fighting, but when they do, it's fun. Now, the whole story, like I said, it's about them doing these small tasks. It involves the main character, Gnome, who it's really seen from his perspective. A lot of it's from his thought, his point of view. Gnome is a fairly level-headed guy. He's can, he can, has a short temper. Ha! No pun intended, but ha! Pun! <laughs> short! <laughs> and can get annoyed a little easily. And has panic attacks. He's very intelligent, but at the same time, kind of oblivious to things. Such as Orc's horrible crush on him and her, her making all, all constantly making come ons to him. He seems to not understand or just get nervous about. Orc, she's more of a traditional orc. Kind of dumb, super strong, and loves fighting. But what really gets interesting is it's not that bland. She's not just the stupid girl. She's not just the stupid orc. She actually understands things if you explain it to her, and she figures it out. She can figure out anything, really, if you give her enough time to really think it over. And Gnome seems to be one of the few people that really takes his time to explain things, to tell her how things work. And after he does, she understands it. He doesn't treat her like an idiot. He doesn't treat her like a moron or something stupid. And that's kind of nice to see. He just takes his time I'm when she asks him a question or makes a comment. And if she says something stupid, he doesn't make fun of her. He'll tease her, but never in a mean way. And he explains it. At one point, she thought because the back of the map was tan and that's the part she thought they were going to a desert. He said, no, that's, that's just the back. This is the part. And he explained it. He wasn't mean about it. The uh, characters are very fun, though, and hilariously strange. At times, there are there's one point where Orc just is trying to come on to Gnome, and he doesn't get it. She, he has a bunch of uh, bottles of potions. He's some kind of alchemist, apparently, on his side that he uses, is, and she's messing with them. And he goes, leave those alone. They're bound to explode. And she goes, that's not the only thing I'm hoping will explode. And it's such a dirty joke, and he is so oblivious to it. I mean, she just gets blunt come-ons with him. Uh, uh, they also have the other character, Mr. Tortoise, who, because of an explosion, when he shoved a potion, an exploding potion down an alligator's mouth, now has sentience and is kind of like their son. <laughs> it doesn't talk, but it understands things and just rides on a orc's shoulder. Now, the characters' names seem kind of stupid, don't they? Orc and Gnome. Well, Gnome's name is Gnome. Well, he's a gnome, yes. Well, his parents abandoned him or died, and he was raised by dragons. And he says dragons don't give anything away, ever, even knowledge. So they never told him his name. So everyone just has always called him Gnome, because that's what he is. And he ha does have panic attacks at times, like, what's my real name? Does someone know? And Orc says, well, if you're a gnome, then I'm Orc. She just goes with it. <laughs> and so she's now called Orc. You don't know her real name either. Maybe we'll figure it out at a point in time. They make constant jokes on the fantasy genre. Like at one point he's like, we're in the Enchanted Forest. And Orc's like, which one? And he went, I don't know. I've been to seven of these. Who writes these damn maps? <laughs> it shows a lizard looking at a tree going, I will call this the very big tree. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's such stupid, but it's fun in fantasy genre, especially when you really like fantasy. Uh, now, this comic has not been going a long time. I'm thinking it's only about 30-something pages in. Uh, 36 from what it says. 36 pages in. And the art 
fluctuates. There's two types. They have these black and white art styles, and some of them are colored. Now, the black and white is not bad. It is very nice. But at the same time, it's a little rough. It's a little jaggedy. But when you get the colored pages, it explodes with gorgeous art. It looks like something straight from the Dungeons & Dragons manual. If you've ever seen those pictures, they look gorgeous. Almost like they're done with watercolors. And it's so beautiful. Oil painting, watercolor, something like that. But the colors just kind of fuse together in spots. And just, I love these colored pages they do on it. I wish more of the pages were colored. The When it's not, it does look a little rougher, but it does look hand-drawn, too, and I do like that. Uh, not something just thrown on a computer. Uh, this It does look like almost like it was drawn on paper and then scanned on at times, and I like that. It gives it a nice, rougher feel, which matches the comic series as a whole. Uh, there hasn't been many other characters in the series yet. As I said, it's only 36 pages in, and that's not that long for a webcomic to be going. But it is a fun comic. It is a very good comic, and I do like the comedy. I like how they take uh, the usual thing, oh, they'll go fight the warlord. No, no, they're, they're delivering them a package. No, 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 they just got to go take that dog over there. No, no, they're just going to go do this. But they happen to run into trouble, they fight it. Like at one point... Or strangling an alligator to death, and Gnome goes, here, and shoves a potion down its mouth, and it explodes. <laughs> and I love the character's interaction. Gnome's kind of not noticing Orc's come-ons. And Orc just goggling over Gnome, but at the same time doing her own thing. Like, at one point, he's trying to unlock a door. And he tells her, go sit down somewhere quietly. Don't wander off. You'll get lost, or worse. You might break something, and then we won't get paid. And then on the bottom of it said, so of course, Orc wandered off. <laughs> that was just great. She, it's, it's the most recent page, too, so it was the best one to use as an example. But the comic, comic's jokes really come from more of talking than physical comedy, like in some others. And I like that. It's The humor at times can be a little dry, but it's not bad humor. If you like dry humor, yes. If you like breakdown laughing humor, they have that, too. And it's great. There's that one point where they're arguing because they have the turtle have missed have sentience, and uh, gnome's like, "We don't know. It could be a child." And Orc goes, "No, it can't. Its name's Mister Tortoise," because <laughs> that proves everything. They gave it the name Mister Tortoise, so it has to be an adult. But all in all, the art can be gorgeous, especially the colored pages. The jokes are dead on, and the characters are fairly interesting. The only downside is, I wish there was more colored pages. They are so beautiful to look at. And I wish there was a little more of this. I wish they updated a little more frequently. But you can only do so much on a webcomic. And especially when you don't have a big team doing it. So I can completely understand why they're not throwing out like page after page every day. But what do I say? I give this about an 8. Eight and a half. It is a great webcomic. You guys need to sit down and read it. It is by far one of my favorite fantasy ver versions of a webcomic. A lot of fantasy ones get bored or old fairly quick, but this one feels like they really could do a lot, especially without having to go through all these big ordeals. They have a lot of little tasks they can do, and I feel like that's really going to work great. But what do you think? Did you like this webcomic? Do you think I'm stupid for liking? Is this a horrible webcomic for you? Do you are you going to go read it now because of my review? Tell me down below. And if you have any other webcomics you want me to review, tell me down below. I do have the rule that it has to at least have 10 pages up. Just so I can get a good feel for the webcomic and really get to know it. If it has less than 10 pages, it's really hard for me to review. On that case, do you have a cartoon you want me to review? Tell me down below, or a video game. I will try to get my hands on it. No promises. But until then, this has been Warlock Boo, hoping to be spoken y'all later. Bye. <laughs>